I have to have bucket list, don't we? <laughs> and that one's on my bucket list. I have something else I have to do back home, but uh, I'm gonna try again next year. How impactful would this college football national championship being in Los Angeles, being at one of the greatest stadiums in the land in, in SoFi Stadium, what is the impact that you want the fans to have and what do you want the fans to walk away from when they experience all everything that has to offer? I'm looking forward to sharing this experience, the Los Angeles experience and the stadium experience with the rest of college football. The people who come in here for this game, most of them won't have been to a game in the stadium and they will never forget it. Uh, it's a lifetime experience. So it, it, it'll be a great night for college football. When you look at, when you're in a, a major a uh, city like Los Angeles, I was having two ranked teams in USC and UCLA, but also, you know, Georgia, Ohio State, and, and what those fan bases bring as well, as well as others by the time that happens. How is it, um, how do you go about the decision-making process when, you, when you're looking for venues when it comes to hosting a, a national championship site? You look at the infrastructure, that being the stadium, airport, uh, lodging, then you look at the spirit of the city, the city's uh, willingness to host a big event, the city's experience at big events, and uh, we have it all here. Everything an event needs is right here in Los Angeles. You mentioned the spirit of Los Angeles. What is the spirit of Los Angeles to you? How did it resonate with you for you all to make this selection here in 2023 at SoFi? Well, this city, this area is a great college football area. There's fans here from all over. And, uh, but this has always been a great college football city. And look at the tradition, the Rose Bowl, going back to 1902. Uh, this area is, is the cradle of passion for college football. So it makes sense for us to come home. And the last oh, you know, for us, we don't care if whether it's a new blood or old, old blood. Our job is to rank the teams, uh, get the right four, and, and that's where we're headed. Um, it will be a great event. It will be an iconic event. And, the best thing about it is, it is who knows what's going to happen. Talk it's about uh, the expansion. I know that's been going back and forth. Um, but how do you balance that out as far as focusing on this game, but then also having to look ahead as far as, you know, four to the next four to six years, as far as that expansion taking place? Our focus now is on the four-team CFP, creating a great event this year and great experience for the student athletes. Now, we know that in the 26th regular season, there will be 12 teams in the CFP. And what we're trying to do now is to see whether we can expand before 2026. Uh, and we don't know how that's gonna come out. But again, focus on this year, focus on creating a great experience. You talk about obviously moving forward, but there are a lot of teams now that are moving conferences and now conferences are expanding as well. How much do you feel like that helps the college football atmosphere as far as the fan bases and just from an economic standpoint as well as a, a fandom standpoint? Well, it'll be different. Um, every time a, a school changes conferences, a school does it for certain reasons uh, that are for that school. And, uh, you know, <laughs> schools have been changing conferences forever. Uh, I read an article when Oklahoma left Oklahoma State behind back in 1926. And uh, there were people saying, woe is us, the game will never be the same. Well, it, it, it all recovered. It, it all got well. And no matter what happens in conference ex uh, expansion, the passion for college football will continue. Will we have the Heisman House in L.A. at some point? How about the Heisman House? I, I, I love all that. I think that's a great part of college football.